In today's video, we are going to be talking about what Goldman Sachs look for when hiring students and graduates. Let's get straight into it. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Afsal Hussain. You can find out a bit more about me through the social media links below or you can check out my website which is www.afsalhussain.com. Today we're going to be talking about what Goldman Sachs specifically look for when hiring students and graduates like yourselves watching this video. First and foremost, as you're all aware, it's not easy to get a job at Goldman Sachs. They have every year around 250,000 applicants and they have about a 3 or 4% success rate. So if you manage to get in, credit to you, it's not easy to get in. But it's not impossible at the same time, especially when you've got other banks who are, for the most part, doing better than Goldman right now. So JP Morgan is one of them. Banks vary in the areas that they specialize in. But generally speaking, one of the big banks that is getting all the praise and credit right now is JP Morgan. And that's for a number of reasons, but mostly it's because all of its divisions tend to be doing okay, whereas Goldman's flagship divisions, the investment banking division, the trading division aren't doing as well as they used to. And so that's why you're seeing Goldman focusing more on the consumer space. So previously you didn't see Goldman as a high street bank and so they launched Marcus, which you can check out a bit more about online and you can find out a bit more about that. If you want me to do a video on what Marcus is for Goldman Sachs, leave a comment below and I'll do that in due course. Now, what I want to do today is specifically touch on some of the key things and characteristics that employees at Goldman look for when hiring individuals and it goes without saying you know you need to be smart you need to be very articulate you need to be very hard working so on and so forth but today I want to drill down a little deeper into why and what specifically they look for and what makes one candidate stand out and more suitable for Goldman as opposed to the next candidate. First and foremost, when you work at Goldman, you realize everyone you're around is of a very high caliber. And that's because most people there are very bright, they're very hardworking, they're very motivated. And everyone is to a certain extent very competitive. They want to be the best at what they do. And when you're in a working environment or when you're in an environment where you're surrounded by individuals who want to be the best in their field or the best at what they do, naturally you're going to have a very driven working environment. And so that's one of the key things that individuals that Goldman Sachs look for is an innate drive in an individual who wants to succeed and be the best at anything that they pursue. How do you show people at Goldman Sachs that you're smart? Part of it is on your CV. When you apply, first and foremost, they're going to see your CV and your cover letter. If they don't get the vibe that you're very smart, bright and hardworking from your CV or your cover letter, chances are you're not going to get an interview. Now, secondly, what you need to show them is you are very interpersonal. Goldman like to hire people that have good people skills or interpersonal skills. If you can hold a conversation, if you're, you know, building good rapport in the interview, and if you just feel comfortable in your own skin, that will set you miles apart from other candidates who are very robotic or they might be extremely bright, but they don't have people skills. So people skills is very important. You can't display it on your CV or your cover letter, but that's when you use it in your interview. But you use it most in your interview when you're actually meeting individuals from across the division or across the team that you're being interviewed for. One thing I picked up when I was at Goldman especially in my intern class and my graduate class was that everyone was really good at something outside of work. And I think that's something that differentiates people at Goldman to other companies. The individuals who Goldman like to hire, they have outside interests, but they aren't mediocre at these interests. They're very, very good at these. So whether it's a sport, whether it's a hobby, whether it's cooking, whatever it might be, there's something that differentiates you from most other candidates. And when you're able to display that in the interview or any part of the assessment process, it helps you stand out and it's something that Goldman specifically look for. Most people find interesting because it means you aren't just, you know, work, work, work. There's more to you. Also, it goes without saying, individuals at Goldman, they have a solid work ethic and they're driven and they're motivated and they're very competitive. I've touched on a few of these things before, but in general, I've spoken to people at other companies and they say, you know, oh, the employees, the caliber is average. There's a lot of average individuals. There's no 
rock stars or superstars there's no amazing they don't feel like they're around amazing individuals but when you're at goldman and this is from people who have spent time in other companies and at goldman they always say individuals at goldman are like very high caliber they are very driven very bright you're around the smartest individuals and so that's the kind of level that you want to be at goldman has 14 key disciplines or principles that they abide by and you can check these out on the website but for the most part when you are interviewing or pitching yourself to Goldman two key things that you need to display or mention one is teamwork so Goldman Sachs heavily focuses on teamwork you can't just do your own thing in the firm you need to you to progress to get things done you need to operate as part of a team now teamwork they value very highly and secondly leadership these are the two key competencies or characteristics that Goldman value highly and if you can display that you've got strong leadership and teamwork skills, you stand a better chance in your interviews and assessment processes at Goldman Sachs. Regardless of which company you work for, especially when you're considering applying to an elite organization like Goldman Sachs, it helps to be well-dressed and to carry yourself in the right manner. You don't want to walk around slouching. You don't want to carry a unconfident or nervous or low self-esteem or no confidence look about you and so that doesn't mean walk around with a bravado and arrogance but you want to carry yourself in a way which kind of displays confidence you want to be well dressed so it gives the impression that you know you will be comfortable to go to client meetings because at the end of the day if you go to an interview and you're very scruffy you're not going to be giving a good impression especially if you're focusing or applying to a sales role the people aren't going to hire you so first impressions dress code the way you carry yourself are equally as important in securing an offer at Goldman Sachs compared to all of the other key competencies and tips that I've mentioned before one of the most important things that individuals look for when hiring at Goldman Sachs is is the person humble and are they likable end of the day you're going to work very long hours and so it's important that you can click with or build rapport with the people that you're going to work with and so every interviewer is asking themselves okay this person's got to the interview stage they're clearly bright now do i think i can work with this person 12 hours a day 14 hours a day so on and so forth do they seem like a nice person are they an arrogant person or are they humble you know do they have self-respect and do they respect others don't go into the interview acting like you know everything and it's always important to stay humble and just be yourself don't be too arrogant and that will help you kind of build rapport and build an appeal to the person that's interviewing you at present so over the last few years there's been a rise in great companies in the tech space in the fintech space in the startup world and a lot of these companies are attracting talent that would otherwise go to Goldman Sachs so Goldman Sachs used to be able to attract tons of talent and pick and choose who it wants it still can do that but it is aware that there is a lot of pull and demand from all these other companies for this talent and this talent is you know regularly going to this other area of you know the same industry or completely different industry and so Goldman is aware that it's hard to attract the best talent and so that kind of favors you it means you've got more options it means you you know you can explore different industries different careers different companies getting an offer at Goldman isn't the be-all and end-all there's so many other companies there's so many other great companies companies that will pay you more companies that will give you better work-life balance companies that will maybe value you more than maybe Goldman does so whether you get an offer or not don't be disheartened if you do do consider your other opportunities because you never know what is best for you until you open those doors and see what they can kind of offer you but those are my top tips for what Goldman look for when hiring students and graduates but most importantly always remember and I always say this just be yourself be true to yourself don't fake it and yeah just make sure you are brushed up on your knowledge your technicals your interview technique and more than anything if you're prepared in those areas and you can go into an interview being yourself and being comfortable then you'll be fine also nerves are expected so don't worry about that but yeah those are my top tips if you found that video useful make sure you give it a thumbs up if you learned anything let me know in the comments below if you've got any video suggestions leave them in the comments below as well and make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and i will see you in the next video peace Whew.